Hi oh guys, so I thought I'd um, show you the most recent hubcut finds. All of these. Since the 12th of January, I found all of these. And that is a lot. It's about 25, 30 wheel trims and about 10 centre cups. So I set them out into piles. So I set them out into the centre cup pile, the aftermarket pile, and the genuine pile. So I'm going to start off with the centre cups and then work my way to the genuines and then the universals at the end. So yeah. So I'm going to start off with um, this iFolium's trailer centre cup right here. The, the lighting is really bad. I think these are actually quite rare now, but this is my second example, so I'm quite pleased with it, as you can see. So, um, yeah. Then there's two Hyundai um, centre caps, which have really bad lighting and stuff. So, I took this, these off my auntie's car and stuff that she was scrapping. Um, I did chip the edges off of them a lot, because they were quite brittle, so that's a shame. One of them's got a missing clip as well. Then there's a um, full Transit Connect centre cap, as you can see. I think it's a Transit Connect. Um, on the back it's got one missing clip, but apart from that it's fine. Um, then there's this Hyundai badge, which I got from the car as well, the Hyundai car. Then there's this, which is actually today's find. It's a um, Volkswagen um, Transporter, I think it is. It's all complete, so it's my second example. I'm quite pleased with it, so yeah. Let's go on to the genuine. So I'm going to start off with this massive bus wheel trim. Massive one. I always love finding bus wheel trims and stuff, and lorry wheel trims. So this one was a hidden find in the hidden find area and, and stuff. I went back. I, did, I only had about two or three minutes of searching, because I wasn't allowed to search any more than that. But I did find some um, some hubcaps, which is nice. But yeah, I found um, this right here, which is a bit damaged. Probably been hit and stuff when it was falling off, or hit a tree or something and broke. But as you can see, it's a really nice one. It's really heavy. I think it's off a rear wheel and stuff, so... I think it's a coach one, I think. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is, but it's a really, really nice find. I might just kind of repair it and stuff. Then there's this, which is a um, Vauxhall um, Sephira or Mariva or something, and it's 16 inch. On the back it's all complete, so it's a really nice um, find. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Then there's um, this, which is a Renault Aspas, I think, or Megane. I don't know, I, I've, I've only ever really seen these on Megans, so that's why I think it's in Megan. People, people are saying it's in a Spas, so I don't really know, but it's all complete. I love this design. And yeah, it's a bit, got a bit of damage on the back though, but apart from that, it's fine. Got the ring, so very nice one. These don't come off very often, so it's really, really nice that, it's, um, that I found one. Then there's this, which is a bit of a damaged um, structural Ford wheel trim. I think it's a Focus or a Mondeo or something. As you can see, it's a bit damaged, so I'm probably just going to... Um, Take the badge off it and scrap it, but it's a really nice design. I love these ones. Really uncommon as well. On the back, it's all complete, um, apart from this clip kind of hanging on. It's not. I thought the um, clip was hanging off. It's not, but yeah. But it's still a really nice hubcap, but it's a shame it's broken. Um, then there's this, which is today's find. It's Suzuki Wagonar. I absolutely hate these. This one's really badly scratched, but this one's not resprayed. My first example was resprayed, so this one's a better condition. And also, all the clips are intact. My f my first example, which I which I had. It had a load of bent clips and stuff, so let's put that thing back there if I can. There we go. So yeah, there we go. Then there's a Nissan Micra, as you can see. Um, and this is actually in pretty much mint condition, apart from, I think, one kind of chunk there. And there's a couple of wheel trims that have just fallen over then. So yeah, I'm on the back, it's all complete, so it's a nice find. Um, but because it's cracked and stuff, and I have an example of these already... I'm gonna sell this one. Um, just put it over there. You go. Then there's a Focus. I found a, I found quite a few of these recently. I found about two or three of these recently. Uh, recently, at least. I think I'm up to four. I found of these in the past month. So, yeah. I'm on the back. It's all complete, which is um, nice, I guess. But it's just no. It's just I don't like these. So yeah. Okay. So next up is this Ford Fiesta, so I actually like these design. They look horrible on cars, but the design itself is quite nice. Um, but this one, it actually looks quite mint, and kind of like a bit dull as well. It's because it's been resprayed. It's in mint condition, apart from it's being resprayed, with horrible Holford's paint on the back. Um, it's all complete, so I'm probably gonna be selling this one. Um, but yeah, um, keep, have to put them over there instead of putting them behind me, I should remember that. So yeah, then there's a full Mondeo as well, right here, which I actually found in my village as well, in my town. Um, I'm not sure if it's a town or, town or a village, I'm pretty sure it's a town that I live in, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, as you can see, and it's a full Mondeo, it's all complete, a couple of bent clips. Apart from that, it looks in mint condition on the front, so it's nice. It's pretty uncommon. Then there's a Renault, a Renault um, Traffic, and um, yeah, now this one is actually a really nice one. I love these ones, um, on the back, it's all, it's all complete, and it's also a genuine as well. Whoa, what's up with you? 
Let's have the um, cable ties on the um, hubcap. I didn't even see that. That's actually that's okay. That's clever. That's clever. Okay. So yeah, I thought I was the only person who did that when I um, cable tied the ring onto a universal hubcap. So yeah, um, that's quite funny. Then there's um, this, which is a Volkswagen um, Bora wheel trim or Volkswagen Sharon wheel trim. It has been run over a little bit, as you can see. By the way, where I found this one and stuff, there's actually another hubcap just opposite the road. Now, I didn't record um, finding this one, so you know you won't know where I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, on the back it's got a bent clip, but apart from that it's uh, mostly okay. Also, the um, bolts are a bit damaged as well. But it's a lovely design, a bit scratched up, but it's fine. Oh, and water, dam water damaged as well. Um, then there's this, which I found a few of these. Voxel Astra. I found about three, three of these. So, basically just as common as the Focus one. This one's got a, um, a clip or two missing. On the back, on the front, sorry, it's all complete, a bit scratched up, so I'll be selling that one. A lot of these I'll be selling, by the way. Then there's this, which is a Vauxhall Vivaro. Now, I actually saw a Renault Traffic one of these yesterday, but I wasn't allowed to get it, but yeah. So this one's all complete on the back. Um, on the front, it's all nice. It has been a bit scratched up on the front, as you can see, so it's pretty slid across the um, ground. Meaning it'll probably be scratched up when I wash it. But it's my first Vauxhall example, so I keep finding the Renault example, so it's nice. Then there's this, it's a really, really lovely hubcap. It's a brand new Ford, um, I think it's a Ford Transit Connect one. I found this in my town as well on the same day as the Mondeo. Same day as that one. And it had the ring all mess messed up and stuff. The, the ring actually on most of the clips was outside. Sort of like, um, like this. That's probably why it came off. So I've kind of adjusted the ring so it's normal. I can't even get the back now. So it's in mint condition. It's literally brand new. So I'll probably, I'm not sure if I'll keep this one or sell this one. It's got a bit of blue on the, on the ring, which is weird. But yeah, apart from that, it's fine. Then there's this horrible one, which is a um, Vauxhall um, Vectra, I think. Um, it's all complete though, which is why I took it. Um, it's got a bent clip or two, but it's fine. Um, but I'll be respraying this one, I think. I just realised you can't even get the badge off, so that's going to be annoying to respray. Mm. Any suggestions on how I can do that, let me know. Then there's this, which is a Vauxhall Quarter D. It's a bit warped, as you can see, it's a bit... So yeah, you can see it's really warped there as well. But it's the older design as well, it's got some paint missing, I've just realised. A couple of scrap bit, a couple of scratches um, on the back. I thought the ring was actually 14 inch, because it was really weird positioning. But I positioned the ring normally, and the ring's fine. It's just the ring's really, really small, which is strange. Look, it's, the ring should be out here, but it's not. Which is really strange. It's making the clip sort of face inwards a little bit, which is probably where it came off. I can also see the op opal design on the back, which is pretty cool. Then there's this, which is a um, Peugeot 107, and this is extremely badly scratched up. All of this is curb scratches. It's basically grey because of the curb scratching. Now I'm thinking this might be off like a learner car vehicle, not like like because in the UK and stuff. Not sure about anywhere else. Um, a lot of learner drivers use their instructor's cars, and over time I think the wheel trims just got scratched up because of that. So yeah, there we go. This is still a lovely design. I love it. The clips themselves, about three or four that are broken. Pretty much all the clips are bent in somewhere like that. But apart from that, it's all complete, which is nice. Then another Peugeot wheel. It's a Peugeot, it's a Peugeot 107 this time. That's 107, that's 107. So they're both 107s. I think it's the more um, newer version. So it's got a crack in it, as you can see. It's in, you know, it's in okay condition. It's got some scratches. But I love this design on the back. I've, I've got a ring for it because the ring was gone. It's got a half a clip missing as well. But apart from that, really lovely design. Then there's this, which I'm not sure if this is a genuine or, not, or an aftermarket or like a fake. But um, we were, I think it's from Scotland or something, or Wilton Aberdeen found one of these the other day. And he said it's a, um, a Toyota, Toyota Revensis Mark 1 or something. So it's probably that. Um, on the back it's got one, one missing clip, one bent clip, and this one's slightly broken as well. Um, it's also got a massive trunk out the side. Um, but it's in good condition on the front though, which is real shame. I might be able to fix that if I can find a piece of plastic I can mould in the shape. I don't know. It's still a lovely hubcap, and yeah. Also, I put a ring on it as well, but the ring's not really working. So yeah, let's go on to the aftermarket. So I've got quite a few of those. So I've got a um, one of these, which I actually found one of these today as well, which is broken, so I left it. This is a, um, a Vegas one. It's all complete. It's 14 inch, um, slightly scratched, but it's, oh, it's also slightly warped as well. I can see, which is just realised that. Maybe it's the terrain of the ground actually. It might be because of that. Then there's a um, older style of a Vegas. I'm not sure if this is called Ve Vegas or not, but it's a sort of quite a similar sort of design. Um, when I actually saw this, I thought it was actually was a Vegas, but yeah. Um, on the back, oh, what's that? I don't know what that is. A bit of a piece of wire. So 
It's on the back, um, it's all complete apart from one clip. And that's actually my fault. There's a massive bit of dirt here. So what I did was I went up against like that and snapped the clip off when I tried to get the dirt out. So, but when I found it, it was all complete. So it's quite nice. Very, very lightweight hubcap. It reminds me of a, um, an Axiom wheel from I found about two years ago. Kind of about as lightweight as that. Then there's this, which is universal. Um, it's all scratched up and stuff, all chipped and stuff. You can see pieces are falling off. It's a nice design um, on the back. Two clips are missing, so I only really took this one because of the ring. That's pretty much it, and, a, and a, um, an after photo. But it's got this lovely sort of design on it, like a checkered flag design, which is on the VR Universals, which I actually found one of those. So yeah, then there's this, which is a uh, Universal um, something, um, a flash. I actually found a um, different version of a flash, which was a two-tone, which, which I loved, but I, um, I um, left it. But this one's all complete, and... Um, yeah. Then there's this, which is actually one of the smallest soft caps I actually have. This is a 12 inch retro universal. It's only ever my th um, my third 12 inch hubcap I've found. And it's got one missing clip on the back. It's got a massive split to about here, almost the entire way through. But once I kind of gl glue that back up and stuff, I think it'll be all right. And uh, yeah, there you go. Then there's this, which is another retro universal, um, 13 inch this time. I love these designs, which is why I took it. It's got a massive chunk out the side, which is a shame. And the bolts on the back are all damaged, but apart from that, it's fine. I'm not sure if these should actually have, um, what are they called? Um, metal clips or not. They might, they might need, uh, they might do. Then there's this, which is a Richmond. I've actually found two of these. Well, I've had about three or four of these, and they're both, they're all 14 inch, but I've only took two. Two identical 14 inch, um, Richmonds. This one, all complete. This one, all complete as well. So yeah, then there's this which is a um, pretty much brand new Universal hubcap and I didn't actually find this one, my nan gave it to me because she found it back in like September or something or November, um, and the, on the back is all complete, but the ring is really bad, you can see the, the ring isn't even on, the ring is just kind of, it goes into the thing but it just doesn't clip on properly, it's sort of like a warped um, hubcap. I might actually show you this at the end of the video, what it's, what it's like on my 14 inch wheel, oh yeah sorry it's 13 inch, sorry it's 13 inch. Um, then there's this, which I actually ended up getting this in the end today. It's a uh, Retro Universal, which I actually ended up accidentally left leaving behind. So on the front, it's really, really nice. It's very brittle. Um, it's all complete, though. But on the back, it's got um, like half a missing clip. And I think it's 13 or 14 inch. I'm pretty sure it's 14 inch. And it was made... It's got a calendar as well, I've just seen. It was made in... Um, made in... July 1997. So, yeah, quite old. Um, and then there's this, which is another Retro Universal, and it's 13 inch this time. Um, it's, took, it's got two bolts missing, and it's very, very heavy. Um, on the back, it's got one missing clip. Um, it's got that thing on it there, which is like a plastic thing, which kind of holds the room together. So, yeah. <coughs> then there's this, which is Universal again, Retro, sorry, again. Um, it's all complete, it's 13 inch. I think this is off a of Caravan as well. So it's a really nice design, I like, I like this one. Then there's this, which I only took for the badge, like the centre and stuff, like the centre hexagon piece. But it's a lovely retro universal. It's a real shame it's broken. Um, it's a really rare find, so, yeah. Then there's a, um, a Milrado design, but it's a, um, from Adria, Car Adria Caravan. Or Adria Caravan. Adria, Adria, whatever you call it. So yeah, it's got a bit um, scratched up there. Um, on the back, it's got a couple of clips left. Well, it's got all the ends of the clips left. It's just that about three clips are broken off so yeah but I love these designs so and it's also the rare rare white version as well which is nice so yeah then there's a um, 16 inch one of these which is a um, um, what's it called Milwaukee so yeah I like these ones as well so it's nice to find one then there's a 13 inch one I found today which is a uh, universal quite an uncommon um, design and quite an uncommon size as well I only really took it for the design really and that's really it in the um, after picture but apart from that, I was a bit obviously scrapping it now, so just kind of do this. There you go. Then there's a VR Universal, which is right here, as you can see. I love these designs. I think it's a Volkswagen Golf or something, or Volkswagen Polo design. Um, I like these look of these, but they don't. They look, they look horrible on cars. Um, it's got silver and red VR sticker, and it's a black Universal, so like a three or it's like a three-tone Universal, which is quite cool. Then there's a two-tone Universal, which is a uh, one of these. I might scrap this one because it's got a split through it, someone stepped on it I think. Um, it's all complete though, which is a shame. And yeah, so there we go. Now let's just 
try this on my 13 inch wheel Is it to the end of the video so why not that's actually not too bad that's not coming off though nope so i hope you enjoyed and um yeah bye guys